Oh my gosh, it is Thrifty Thursday and we actually went thrifting. If you did not see the video last week when we went, uh, did a little thrift with me, go check that out and then come back here for the haul because we're gonna jump into that right now. Hi, I'm Amy the Rainy Day Shopper. I'm a part-time reseller on Poshmark, eBay, Depop, and a lover of all things thrift. I have been thrifting since I was three years old and my mama taught me how to flip clothes at a very young age. We used to go to yard sales, buy things for 10, 25 cents, and then I'd take them to the consignment store when I outgrew them so I could get credit to buy new things. Uh, we were poor, but mama knew how to work a system so well. In any case, we finally went to a thrift store, a big thrift store, not my little local thrift, but I paid my taxes. If you didn't see that video, I will link that below. I mean, paid for my accountant's fees, found out I was getting a sizable refund. Thank you, having a business, keeping track of everything, all this stuff. Um, but my personal income is low enough that, yeah, I should get a refund, so yay. And uh, I decided that I was gonna reward myself with a little trip to the thrift store despite the thrifting moratorium. Oh my gosh, I think someone just bought something. My glasses aren't on, I can't see. I'm not gonna look right now because I'm talking to you, but whew, fingers crossed whichever is good luck. In any case, we went to the thrift and I was only gonna buy a few things, but on the first rack that we got to, if you have seen that video, there is a whole bunch of linen and a whole bunch of vintage linen. So you know I had to look way more than I wanted to. I did not look in depth anywhere. I skimmed, I skipped, but what I got is two bags full of goodness. Ooh, and three little hard goods, which I'll have to remember to go grab before we jump in. Enough chit chat, let us see what is in, ooh, these bags that I got when I went to the Goodwill in Woodburn, Oregon. Let's take a look. All right. Let me know in the comments if you've been thrifting and found any good schools. I cannot talk. I'm so excited. It's like I haven't done this before. <sighs> Chill, breathe. Okay, we're here. We've got linen. We're good. So this is City Light San Francisco. I believe this is a vintage piece. It is a size medium and 100% linen. It is this really just a classic blue chambray kind of shirt, but it is linen. So it's got the pocket. It's oversized as heck. I imagine that might fit me and I am not a size medium. So all of these, I'm gonna have to look over in the lights again, that's why I wanna do this. I haven't taken the tags off so that if there are any spots or anything, I can take them back and exchange them there. I did meet a super nice employee, we had a good chat and hopefully she's following. If you're following and watching this haul, thank you so much for helping me. You were super sweetie. She was wondering what I was doing, uh, zooming in on price tags when I was doing the thrift with me. So there you go. All right, that I had to grab because it's linen. This I had to grab because I'm me. And it is this vintage green on this size, size, side bright orange construction worker orange on this side there are some spots for sure on the orange side i saw those i think i can get some of them out and frankly i don't think someone's gonna care this is down filled as you can see the little feathers are popping out you can also see some of the marks now let's see where's the tag uh reversible items do have their tags usually in the pockets so yes here we go this is a it is a Hagen London Tower, um, that's what it says right there. And this is made in Taiwan, uh, filling is down and it's nylon. So professionally dry clean or gently washed with medium grade soap. Um, I will gently wash it because it should be fine, it's nylon. Most of these do that. Uh, it doesn't even smell bad, but I do wanna see if I can get some of those spots off on the inside. And dry cleaning just ain't gonna do that. Though I might do my home dry cleaning after I do some spot removal. We'll see. Okay, so I guess most of the girls are down there, but we're going this one. It's up here first. So I went to the men's section last, of course, and I didn't really like do a full, full look, but I did spot this beauty. And this plaid, of course, drew me to it like a fly to honey. And it has the cuffs. And if you know anything, you know this is a Robert Graham. And these were pricey. So this is a medium. And if you can see right there, it's gorgeous, in great condition. And so I kept looking and eventually I found like five or six of them. I did not get them all just because they were very expensive. I mean, over 10 bucks. And they were size medium. If they had been, oh, hold on. Awkward, I'm shedding. Whew. It's like it's spring or something and I'm one of the cats. Meow. 
but if they had all been a larger size, like a larger, extra large, I probably would have purchased them all. But as it is, I could not pass up the few that I got. So this was the first one. I love that plaid. I love the detail of the stitching. Had to grab that. Okay. This is also men's. It's a roper and it's a size extra large roper. I absolutely love. They make boots. I sell a ton of them. Uh, and this is a really cool paisley pearl snap. It is possibly vintage. Let me look at the tag here. I believe this tag is one of their older tags, but I haven't looked in a while. So I will have to double check because um, I could be wrong. It is made in China, but there are vintage things made in China now, which is interesting enough because, you know, it's 2021. 2000 is actually vintage, officially. All right, so I had to grab that. This is a cool shirt that I grabbed just because it's a really cool shirt, and it's linen, I believe. Let's see. Yes, this is Rod and Gun Sports Fit, woven in Italy, 100% linen, a size large. Now, Sports Fit means it's a little narrow, So, but look at that really fun pattern. It's woven in Italy. I didn't look it up. I didn't care. It's men's. It's linen. It's made in Italy. Designed to fade. Oh, cool. And I can wash it and line dry in the shade because otherwise it will fade. Um, but it's in really good condition and I just thought it was really cool. So I haven't looked up this brand. I will look it up, but I just bought it on style alone. This I also bought on style alone and the price was good enough that I didn't mind. This is a Scandia Woods 3XL and I think this isn't the best brand. I think this is one of the vintage ones, but I absolutely love this plaid and it's kind of that textured material. Reminds me of some shirts that I had in the 80s. Uh, and some pants that were like this color plaid exactly in the 80s, but I like the size and I do like having larger sizes for men in my closet, especially because they need cute clothes too. So I thought this was just a super nice breezy shirt, 100% cotton in good condition and super fun. So I grabbed that. This I also grabbed. I know it's not sweater season, but I don't care. I was at the thrift for the first time, you know. It, okay, I went to my little local thrift a couple times over the last year, but still. I was at the thrift for the first time in ever. I just, I, I did not restrain myself. I mean, I went in with the idea of, I'm just going to grab a couple things. If there's something, I, I grabbed all the things. There were many things grabbed. This is an Andrew Rohan made in the USA. It is a size 3XL. I don't think it's a 3XL. I'll have to measure it. It looks, well, maybe not when I hold it up. But look at that, like, Letterman style sweater. It's the V-neck. It's cotton. I don't know what the C with the like the planet thing going around it is. I don't think it's actually like a Letterman sweater. I'll have to do some research. It does have some fading because it is cotton, but it's so cool. And so I had to grab it. The whole varsity Letterman thing is still on trend. It's a small subset, but there you go. The first thing I saw when I went in, which kind of let me know that it was gonna be a good day, was this vest. And some of you might be like, why are you so excited about a sweater vest? Because look at that, it's like a grandpa sweater. It totally is a grandpa sweater, I love it. All right, this is a uh, Gian Alberto, made in Italy. <sighs> made in Italy, hello. It is 100%, no, 70% acrylic, 30% wool, and it is a size large. So it's so cute. I could totally wear it because a guy's size large is like a women's, you know, 1X, 2X, um, 1X more likely. So it's in good condition. I didn't see any holes. If I have, if I find holes, I will have to do some darning, which I've done a few times and no one's complained so far. So <sighs> wish me luck on that one. This is another fun grandpa sweater. This one I almost put back. So like, no, it's not, I, I had to get it. I couldn't help myself. It's a Jane Barnes menswear, uh, woven in Japan, so it's vintage. And this is made in Hong Kong. It's fabric woven in Japan, and then it's made in Hong Kong. So it's got all the things going for it. It is wool, rayon, poly blend. And it's just this really cool, I mean, look at the pattern on that. Isn't it gorgeous? It's kind of like a tapestry, like there's a raised section. This little color is raised there. So it's like a little carpet, but it's not. It's really lightweight and it's so much fun. It has the banded bottom, the band at the bottom of the sleeves. I did not at the time see any holes. So if you see anything, let me know. Like I said, I can take things back and exchange them. So, you know, there are a few things that I bought because I knew there were some flaws, but there. So this was then on the next rack that I went to and 
This is Eileen Fisher, size medium. It is made in uh, China of Irish linen. Oh, sorry. There was, I keep forgetting to turn off notifications. And it's this really, really long dress. So it's a button front dress or it could be a duster if you wear it open. So like a vest. Uh, it is really just cute. It's got that woven textured pattern. It's so pretty. And of course, I know a lot of people don't like to pick up Eileen Fisher. She doesn't sell as well as she does as she used to, but she sells. And like I said, I don't mind things sitting. I do price fairly high for certain things, but that means that while I may only make three to five sales a day, in those three to five sales, I'm making a hundred or more dollars usually. Not always, but usually. So that's just a strategy. Um, some things I, I've been experimenting with pricing things cheaper, especially things from mystery boxes. And I will have an update uh, for that probably coming up in May because that'll give me enough time to have sold some of the things that I've listed. All right, this is just cool. It wasn't half off, but it, it's this, <coughs> pardon me, this big, oversized looks like it was made in nepal or mexico or peru it's got elephants and it's reversible i believe and i couldn't find in the store because i was running out of steam people i had just jumped into town to pay the accountant for my taxes and i hadn't been planning on going to anywhere i hadn't eaten dinner and i didn't have water and so i was i was like oh Plus it was really hot, you know, all the things. So I didn't look at as carefully as I could have at some things because while I do always look up comps, the inside, look how cute that is. So it's just black. Um, I don't always necessarily do them right in the moment because I can exchange at most of my thrift stores. If I can't exchange, I look things up. Um, and that's not a big deal to me because they're really close. So I can't find any tags. And like I said, it could be even handmade. I don't know. I'm going to keep looking, but not right now. It's really cool. So it's black on this side, navy on this side with the big pockets, the fun sleeves. It's got a hood. It's really cool. It feels like it's cotton, maybe a cotton blend, but probably cotton. All right. Now this I almost put back, but then I finally found the tags because overalls, bib overalls are so cute. People love them. And vintage ones especially are hard to find sometimes. And I couldn't find the tags, but then I finally found them. So these are Bill Blass. And this is a size 8. And these were made in Bangladesh. But they're just super cute bibs. They've got the little hook and loop pocket here, which is so cute. And it's got the, it's kind of got the mom waist, the mom jean kind of high rise thing going on here. So that's another thing for it. And unfortunately, most of the things I found weren't on half price. There were a few things, but I was just like, you know what? I'm just going to go for it. So I did. So some of these, be, it'll be interesting to see how much profit I can make. I have sold some vintage Bill Blast denim before. I wouldn't like more modern pieces I wouldn't pick up, but vintage, mm -hmm, I would buy it. And I just did. All right. This gorgeous thing, here we go, is a... <laughs> Jean Ewing Biss Wrinkled Rich Denim Size Medium. And this is vintage. It is made in the USA of imported fabric. Are we cotton? Are we linen? Yeah, cotton. So super cute. But it's this adorable tie-dyed or bleach dyed. <coughs> it's lightweight, so it looks like denim, but it's not really. Uh, it has this cool yoke, a little drop waist, a full skirt. It is adorable. I absolutely love this thing. If it were my size, I would keep it and wear it over and over. So super cute, fun skirt, especially for spring. Had to grab it. Had to, you know I did. Okay, this is, I almost put these back. There were two of them, I think. They're mark wear. This is a size medium and it's a linen like shirt jacket. So not the jacket of today, but definitely a shirt jacket. It's black. The other one I think is beige. We'll get to it. And I'm worried the beige one has some spots on it. So look closely for me because I was trying to decide in the store. I almost put it back, but then I didn't. Uh, like I said, 100% linen, great condition. I'll use terms like lag and look, even though the arms are a little more tapered than I like for lag and look. Um, so yeah, very cool. Oh, this, there is a set. I had to be really, I put back two sets. One was this beautiful maroon silk skirt and top. 
that I actually, I'm pretty sure I had that exact same skirt. There was also a green silk skirt. I had a bright pink one and a like a brighter green one from Nordstrom's in high school. I'm pretty sure those were the same brand, but they had pinholes in them. And I'm so glad that I held them up to the light so I could see the pinholes through because otherwise they looked really fine. They looked in great condition. But this set I did get. So this is a 100% linen Misha wearable size medium. So I think most of the linen is medium. I think someone got rid of their collection. This is a purpley blue and there are pants and the pants are in, hold on, I think right here. Dun, da, da. They are right here. Hold on, I'm grabbing them in the other bag. So these are just a fun, are these also medium? Yes, I love it when they're the same size. I would have sold them separately. But just a cute pair of pull-on linen trousers with the pockets and a slight taper to the leg, but mostly straight leg. I mean, how cute is that? I think they wore this one more than this one because it's more faded. So they wore the shirt more, more than the pants. I don't care, I'll put them together. I'll just disclose it. There's a difference in the color and people will see that. All right, I had to get this one because I liked it. It is a Catalina men's large. It's a vintage shirt but I just love this leaf print on it. It's so cute, isn't that pretty? So men's shirts sell really well for me. Men's sports coats, I, I literally, I didn't even look at the sports coats, you'll be so proud of me. I walked right by them. I, <laughs> I have not sold one of the men's sports coats in my closet and I have some really good ones. I don't think I've even listed the Burberry one I have yet because why? <laughs> Uh, eventually they will sell, but they're definitely long tail. So, and I will probably have to sell them for less. I just love this. Shirts sell well. There we go. Ooh, look at this. This is itchy as all heck, but you know I had to buy it because it is a an official made in the USA. Dehen, size large. Look at this green, gorgeous little sweater girl sweater. And I think it's just acrylic. Hold on. Yes, it's just acrylic, but this thing itches like wool. I mean, I've never felt acrylic so itchy before. So I will have to disclose that one because like this one I can tell. There's certain things that I can't tell they're itchy because I can't wear them. That one I can tell. And I'm not super sensitive to itch. So there you go. Uh, but it's so cute. Someone will wear it if not for a photo shoot, you know, that. Uh, if not for something else, a photo. This is so cute. This is Rosa Rosé. Never heard of them before, but it's a 3X made in Italy. And it's this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous denim dress with a full tiered denim skirt and is this this is just a chambray cotton i believe i don't think it's linen oh yeah cotton this one says wait oh i thought it said x 3x it's only an extra large but still it's quite a good size for some reason i thought it was a bigger size than that still good okay this might be one of my favorite pieces i'm not saving it for last because we're going to switch to the other bag Oh my gosh, you know my living room is gonna be a mess after this. So much for getting things cleaned up. Okay, look at this gorgeous, glorious nylon vintage 70s goodness. So we've got the mint green, we've got the lace, we've got the nice little underbust cut there with the V, there we go. The skirt, it looks like it should be a nightgown. Seriously, this is the same nightgown material, but it's not, it's a formal. It's fabulous. I think it's handmade because it has like this kind of, like the notched out um, seams and the seam allowance. It does have these sewn in though, but it just, I don't see any tags or any signs of tags. I will keep looking. Um, but yeah, it just looks like some of these things would be finished a little better. Even in the 70s, well, especially in the 70s because they made clothes better than they do now, uh, if it were uh, machine made. But it's fabulous. I absolutely adore it. And I have recently been making some sales on Thrilling Vintage. That is going to be perfect to list there. Loving that, by the way. Uh, if you want me to do a video, I'm just starting to figure that one out, but let me know. So this is an Eileen Fisher made in the USA of Irish linen. So I don't know if that's more vintage than the black piece, but it is this really pretty tunic and tan now this one i was also worried about some spotting i couldn't tell in the light in there so i really do need to get this under a light um and i can wash it i'm sure which is the nice thing so that was this was on that first rack well the second rack that i went to the sweater was on the first 
Yes, I can wash and tumble dry low, which I love. Okay, let me pull this bag over here so I'm not like bending down and I'll be right back. All right, oh, I got it, we can do this. It's tipping, no, don't knock over the camera. Okay, we made it. That was an adventure. Okay, I almost put this one back and then I had to grab it. This is vintage, it is DKNY. Uh, and I'm sure it's probably late 80s, early 90s, which is the first time I ever heard of DKNY because we always used to go to that Nordstrom half yearly sale, which is the only time we ever shopped at Nordstrom. And I would get a whole bunch of school clothes then um, that we'd save up the money and go there. So Brass Plum was right next to their higher end section. And I happened, I didn't realize that I was in the, you know, couture section. And I grabbed this really cute sweatshirt. It was gray and had a pattern on the back and like the hood zipped. And we tried it on and we loved it. It was so cute. And then we looked at the price. It was $300 for a sweatshirt. I'd never heard of Donna Karen before. And then I heard of her. And I also then, when I moved to New York, heard a lot about the sweatshops she makes clothes in. But that's a whole nother story. In any case, I'm trying to find the tag on this one. I could, I almost put this back and I could not. This is 100% cotton, size four, made in Hong Kong. And it is this gorgeous, gorgeous vintage denim dress it's got the elastic waist it's got the covered placket to cover up the zipper and it snaps it's got it's a whole whole look and at the time if this is the same era this was probably a five to six hundred dollar dress if not more so it's really really cute and i finally i was like do i really want to pay for it because it wasn't on sale i paid for it all right I also had to pick up this one. This is a men's affliction size 2XL. It's a slim fit, so it looks really narrow to me. Um, but I have sold all the affliction pieces that I have purchased and for good prices. And I've only purchased like two or three. But still, when I find them, I grab them. Uh, I didn't know about them at first, but then I started picking them up. This is really cute. Has the name, has a big spell out across the back, has snap, cool snap, and then buttons. Are the buttons cool? Oh yeah, the buttons are cool too. It does need a wash. Oh no, I think some of that, like that distressed cracking is part of the fabric. I was like, is it really that dusty and I didn't notice? No, it's just part of the fabric. I still will be washing it. All right, this I had to buy because it is vintage. I feel like I've been really hyper, so let me just chill for a second. It's the first, thr I mean, th real, th real, real thrifting. Oh my gosh, okay, I'm fine, I will recover. You're like Amy lists them. So I do. I list many things. This is a vintage Liz Claiborne dresses. This is a size 10 vintage. It's 100% linen exterior and then acetate on the inside. But look at this beauty. She is so pretty. Just a classic little sheath dress. It does have these really fun chunky buttons in the back. It is beautifully lined. It is in excellent condition. Watch, I spot some giant stains now. No, I, I haven't, but it's so cute. All right. Oh my gosh, stay there. That's going to fall over. Along the lines of Liz Claiborne, this beautiful linen piece, cotton linen blend, but look at the colors. <gasps> Isn't that the cutest little thing? Oh my gosh, I love it. So 90s, maybe late 80s, but probably 90s. Uh, it is very thin, but when you have it on, you won't see through it super cute plaid loved it had to get it all right we are getting there oh i do have the hard goods don't let me forget those so this is the other mark wear linen jacket it is in a tan i was worried about the armpits but i didn't see anything let's see they look okay there i kind of saw in the store and i was looking carefully i think they seem all right anyway it's just a really cool big old shacket, but not really a shacket in the modern sense, but definitely a shirt jacket. Oh my gosh, the shirt had to get. I've purchased some fire retardant things before. I always love finding them. And so I had to grab this one. This is Lapco. It is a medium long. It's made in Mexico. So I believe it is vintage, but I'm gonna have to, cause some, some fire retardant stuff is still made in the USA. Uh, but this is flame resistant. And it is this really cool camo. So it's the like forest camo print with the snaps on the front. It's really a nice shirt. And it's not super heavyweight. The person who bought my last 
piece that was flame retardant really liked it because it was a vintage piece and because she asked is it like denim is it really hot i'm like no it's it looks kind of like denim but it's like a lighter weight almost a chambray but not quite that light and she's like okay so she bought it for her husband and he loved it because it was not as heavy as denim the sleeves on this are heavier as uh, are heavier but the bodice the body is not as heavy so i really like this one super cool had to grab that oh we got some more rubber gram here here comes the other ones Oh, this is a large. So this, actually, the large might be the one I found first, and then I found a bunch of mediums. I was hoping for more larges. So you know I had to grab the large also because look at that fab. We got paisley, we got stripies, we got all the goodness. Super good. And they were in pristine condition when I picked them up. I like They just got shoved in a bag because that's what I did. I didn't even take a shopping bag with me, and you have to now in Oregon even though with COVID it's weird. This is a large, look at the interior of that one. This is another Robert Graham. I absolutely love the colors on this one. So pretty. And then we have the reverse cuffs, just beautiful. Okay. And this is, oh my gosh, we've got three more things in there and then I'll go grab the hard goods. I just got a few because again, I did show you some of the shelves, but it was, I was just beat at that point. So this is a vintage uh, Oakton light made in Korea uh, quilted flannel jacket. So I will most likely call this a barn coat or a barn jacket that sells things really well for me. It doesn't have the lower pockets, which I usually associate though with a barn jacket. So I might just call it like a, a utility or a shirt jacket, but it's just a really cool vintage like grandpa shirt. It is missing a button right there. I'll have to check the other side when I can find it. Oh, that one's there. So, and those are just plastic buttons, so easy to fix. And I'll probably just disclose it and let, because who buttons their shirt buttons anyway? Anyway, I had to grab that because I love selling those. Okay, we have another Eileen Fisher. I almost put this one back. But it's so cute. So this was made in the USA, also of Irish linen. It is a medium and it is beautiful. Look at this cute little crop jacket. So it's like a raspberry on the outside and it's red on this side. And I'm wondering, no, it can't be reversed because of tags. But it's just really, a, just a cute little charmer of a jacket. Had to grab that. And then, oops, sorry, I bumped you. I had to get this skirt. This skirt, you're gonna die. I absolutely love it. I had a skirt with this exact same yoke in the 80s, maybe even in the 90s, because I kept my stuff for a long time. So this is a linen. It is, let's see, Metropole, Metropole Vintage. It is dry clean only, or hand, ooh, I can hand wash. 100% distressed linen. It's not supposed to be not distressed. Anyway, it's got pockets. It's just beautiful. It's so cool. So it's this big full skirt, but it's this yoke that does it for me because it's gonna be very reminiscent of the, like people are pushing those 90s mom jeans that have this kind of yoke right now. They're selling at Target even. People are looking for the vintage ones. This kind of has that exact same look, but in a skirt, which is actually much more flattering on most people than those mom jeans ever were. I guess they were 80s, not 90s. Anyway, let me go grab the hard goods and then we'll be done with this. Okay, I also forgot that I got some individual pieces of jewelry and I did not put them in one of my jewelry. Oh, the thing that's coming on Saturday, I didn't put it in that video. So that's, I'm just gonna have to show you here. So got a few hard goods and a few pieces of jewelry. Anyway, the jewelry counter is where I met my friend at the Goodwill. Hi, again, if you're watching. So I had to get this little naked butt boy. You know I did, look at him. He's got some little chippers on his butt. He's got some issues. His ear may be slightly broken. No, it's just chipped. But he is adorable. He is, let's see, I can take the tag off now. He was $3, $4. He's Sexton, uh, 1975 USA, and he's got a number on the back. So he's got this information here, and then there's a number down here. He's just a, like, is he cast metal, molded? He's got some fine spider webs <laughs> with him, but isn't he the cutest little, his little, his little butt cheek? He's, he's so cute. Okay. Uh, and the frog. Okay, it was really the frog that did it for me, and I like the yellow towel. Plus, look at the sock. I mean, just the detail is so adorable. I had to grab him. Now, this one I wasn't sure about. 
And let's see if I can get this tag off. This was, you saw me, maybe saw me pick it up, $2.99. And let's see if I can get it off without ripping the tag underneath. I don't want to really use a heat gun. I'm going to work on that later. So it says made in Italy and there's a reference number here, but this is like resin. I don't think it's Yeah, I'm pretty I'm pretty sure it's resin. I'm I'm pretty sure it's fairly modern, but it's just so sweet. So I love the little cherubs and this looks a little bit like a holy water dish, something you might put there. Or you could put like a sweet little succulent. Like I would think this would be adorable with a little succulent in it. Oh my gosh, how charming would that be? It does have a hook for the back. So I'm going to see if I can get that tag off. Um, yeah, it doesn't have a brand. It just has the number and then made in Italy. So if you've seen anything like this or know anything, let me know. Like I said, I think it's resin. It's very dusty. I will have to give it a good bath. Okay. Now, my Aunt Linda who gave me the clothes. She actually has three more boxes of belts and scarves she sent over that I haven't picked up yet, but so those will be coming at some point. She also used to work at Sur La Tab. And so when I saw this, um, it still has like its sticker on the back that hasn't like, there's no signs of baking. There are some signs of just sitting on things or being put on something, but this was also half off. So this was $5. Yeah. Um, and the plain ones don't really sell for a lot. So there's plain sur la tab that are just cream. They don't sell for a lot, but I believe this is a pomegranate. I'm not sure, but some of these are listed on eBay for up to $80. So I had to grab it just to see. Plus it's beautiful. So if it's not going to sell for a lot, I'm going to use it. So there we go. I didn't mind that. Whew. Okay. We are down to this little bag of treasures and there were more things, but I just couldn't decide. So I had to grab these and it was so sweet because the person, I wish I could, I remembered her name. Like I, I remembered it, but I didn't write it down. So I'm super sorry. I don't remember your name, but my, like, it's just the pre-menopause brain among other things. This whole year has been kind of a fog. So I'm just going with it. But her grandma's favorite bird is a hummingbird and our farm is called Hummingbird Hill. And I had to get these. And in one of my uh, mystery boxes of jewelry, I found a glass hummingbird necklace these are going to go perfect with this. So these are totally mine and I paid full price for them because you know, uh, all right, then this pin is so pretty. It is not, I don't think it's vintage or anything, but those look like irises, don't they? Just a little close in a, and the back is nothing special. I think this was $3 too. So the back is nothing special. I think it's just kind of a modern piece, but I will do a little more looking at the clasp when I get the tags off. Ooh, what does that say? I'm pretty sure all the good stuff, like she says, they send to their boutique, boutique. So there's no silver or anything like that to snag. Uh, but I did snag this adorable little turtle pin, which is so cute. It doesn't have any marks that I see on the back. It was only $2. And frankly, who could say no to the cute little turtle pin? So I had to grab him. And is he, I think he feels like, like some sort of polymer clay, not like ceramic. That's what I think from him. And then this I had to get because again, the, the adorableness, this could be a pendant or a pin. It was $5. Who? why did I spend, I spent that much? Yeah, I did. Cause I loved it. That's why I spent that much because it's a little garden basket. Isn't it the most adorable thing ever? I have just been planting so many seeds in my garden. That's why my nails are terrible. I had to take off my stickers. Um, but look at that. It's got the eggplant. It's got the corn. It's got the tomatoes. It's probably some broccoli or lettuce back there. Maybe some chard or something. Anyway, it's absolutely adorable. I did not see a maker's mark on this one. But then again, I didn't really look closely because I was tired and I was like, it's cute. I'm buying it. So I did. Again, this is something that may be staying with me, but it will probably not be because I don't need it. Someone else is going to wear it and love it. All right. And then I had to get this little thing because I absolutely loved it. And it was half off, which was brilliant. So it was marked $6.99. So it was $3.50. This is Indiana Metalcrafts 1976 B97. It definitely has some wear, but I don't care because it's beautiful. I love the cattails. I love, I believe those are geese. I love the geese 
isn't that just adorable and I love the way that the edge has very much faded and then there's still this brass color bronze in the back and then there's still some fading to the birds that give them gives them dimension I almost wonder if it's intended to be like that except I don't think so because of like that spot yeah I don't know it just gives it really cool dimension so I absolutely love it okay we made it that is my first Goodwill haul. I don't know what that sound was. I'm probably going to edit that out. Now I'm just going to keep going because I'm tired. And I want to film another haul. Okay, I've got some boxes to open from Poshmark. Don't worry. We'll, we'll talk about those. Anyway, let me know what your favorite piece was. What you have found thrifting. What have you found that's really exciting? Literally the jewelry right now, I'm so into. It's so easy to store. It's so easy to photograph. <sighs> but... I am hopefully going to be hiring someone to help me with photographing clothes so I can do a lot more listing this summer. So I'm crossing my fingers for that. Whoo! Let me know if you've hired anyone local, how that's worked for you. And uh, yeah, wish me luck with uh, getting all this stuff out of my living room so that I can walk through once again. Yeah, there's a whole video about that that I'm working on. I've been filming in stages and I'm just like, am I ever going to put this up? I don't know. Let me know if you want to see it. If you want to see the mess, I'll show it to you because I love you. And I really appreciate that you stopped by and that you are here to spend some time with me on this awesome day. There will be another of the jewelry jars coming up, maybe on a surprise Saturday, maybe on a mystery box Monday. It's not a box, but it's still a mystery. I'm not sure. Just stay tuned. I place videos every Monday and Thursday, and occasionally I throw in an extra on Saturday for some spice and sass. If you enjoyed this video, remember to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. It helps my channel so much, and we are so close to 1,000 viewers, which would be amazing. I really appreciate you being here and being so supportive of me and my journey as a reseller and the fun that we are having together as we share our thrifting finds. I will see you next time. Bye.